Show me. Talk to me. What 20 you? years ago, Nancy Downey was sitting there watching one of those do-it-yourself shows when she got the sudden urge to do it herself. I watched them make wind chime out of glass, and I thought, I want to try that. And so began Nancy's obsession with stained glass. It's a challenge. Today, she's nearly run out of room to display her creations. Her backyard, a stained glass gallery. Eventually, her husband John started doing it too. It's something that we enjoy doing together. Now, virtually every night until midnight, these retired educators are in their grapevine studio creating art. But Nancy's development of this now has gone to another level. From DIY to me, oh my, Nancy is now arguably one of the most talented stained glass artists anywhere, creating realistic mosaics. All of these were made with glass. Not surprisingly, Nancy gets a lot of requests from galleries that want to display her art and people who want to buy it. I know. So Nancy and John turned it into a business, albeit not a very good one. Absolutely not. No, our business model is not one we would put out there for anybody to uh, adopt. They rarely make a profit, often doing work for free or charging only for materials. Uh, just a passion of ours. That's because a lot of their art is personal. It's kind of fun to see. Like the stained glass. Just what we've done. One woman brought them a couple years back. She came in and I remember her coming in crying and we said, Tell us how we can help you. There were a lot of tears shed that day. After her grandma's death, Samantha King inherited a piece of stained glass. That was a piece of her. But the drive home wasn't smooth. And I just saw glass broken everywhere. So. Samantha couldn't afford the nearly thousand dollars it cost to have it fixed. Her heart shattered. She found John and Nancy who put the pieces back together. Just how my grandma had it to where it felt like they cared. I was just overwhelmed with emotions. They're miracle workers and I'll always be thankful for them. It, it reinforced for us why we do it. If it brings joy to somebody else, then why not do it? As John and Nancy have discovered, given the chance to do something kind, it's always rewarding to do it yourself. I've really enjoyed it. In Grapevine, I'm Sean Giggy.